guess which one I am. Am I Tobey Maguire? Am I Andrew Garfield? Am I Tom Holland? No! It is I! Batman! <laughs> okay, so, Spider-Man Homecoming. Probably wondering what my thoughts are, because I know all you people out there are really interested to know. Well, it's an excellent movie. There you go. End of review. I guess I could talk about a couple other things. Alright, so when Captain America Civil War happened and they really quickly shoved Spider-Man in there and they were going to add Spider-Man to the Marvel Cinematic Universe but Sony was still kind of in charge of the movie, I got terrified. I mean, The Amazing Spider-Man I really liked, but I know a lot of people had disagreements about Amazing Spider-Man 2, everyone kind of said was the final nail in the coffin, like, oh god, this series, what are they doing to it? They kept trying to sequel bait it, they kept trying to make a universe out of it rather than just tell a story. This merger, I wasn't quite sure what we were going to get because we had two different studios with different ideas of how to do a universe colliding, but it kind of seemed like they said, Marvel, you do you because you know what you're doing. Take charge of the story, take charge of everything in this movie, and we just want the box office revenue. And there we go, Spider-Man Homecoming. It is, once again, another excellent Marvel Cinematic Universe film. I just, at this point, Phase 3 is looking like it could be the best of all the phases. And this is a really good year for superhero movies also. We got Wonder Woman, we had Captain Underpants, we had the Lego Batman movie, Logan, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and now we have this. The story is just well done. It's not an origin story. But it's rather just a story about Spider-Man. He's already Spider-Man. We don't need to go over the origin again because we've seen it many times. And to be honest, there's times where just for the emotional tone of the movie, they probably could have used a little bit of the origin story. But we, you know what? At this point, when we're doing it for a third time, you probably don't need to see Uncle Ben get shot again. He, in fact, he kind of goes unmentioned throughout the entire movie. Uh, the story is about Peter being in high school and basically wanting to find himself. It's a movie about him trying to find himself and prove his worth to Tony Stark and uh, to be an Avenger, basically. I really like the premise of this movie just because we finally see the Avengers' effect on culture and how they would affect people, you know, your everyday people. In one case, we have Tom Holland, who is affected by the Avengers to go and become his own superhero, while we have another, Michael Keaton, who ends up becoming a villain because of the very events of the Avengers. So, you get two different variations, and I just really like that. I really like that they, both of their origins come sort of from the same place. I really like that this movie was mostly set in high school. I like that it's not an older person playing a high schooler. It's actually, uh, he's 20, I think. I think Tom Holland's around 20. But he's playing someone who's 15, and he totally qualifies as a 15-year-old. We already have enough heroes where they're all in different places of the world, and they're at different ages. But we don't really have someone who's a high schooler. Spider-Man took place in high school, so do it up and make it like a high school movie. Because if you watch that first one, you know, the, the original Spider-Man movie today, and you see all the high school scenes, it's awkward. Everybody really seems like they're 40 or 50 years so, old. Okay, not that old, but you can tell that no one's really a high schooler, and the high school scenes are really awkward. It's like, no one, is there really a high school that's like this? This movie, like John Hughes and the 21 Jump Street films, is a very realistic, really well done portrayal of high school, I think. And you know, all the characters are really well done too. Even the smallest characters are memorable in some way. It's really hard for a movie to do that. Donald Glover's in the movie. We also have Hannibal Buress. We have Zendaya, and she's even got a bit of a smaller role, but they all are very memorable for as short of time that they have on the screen. Tom Holland is, of course, amazing as Spider-Man. We already saw enough of him in Captain, Civil, Captain America Civil War to know that he's gonna be an extraordinary Spider-Man. He feels like such a real person. And then you also have Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Overall, I didn't really like the Vulture. It just seemed like another, you know, basic uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe villain. The only thing that makes him great, though, is the fact that he's Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is seriously one of the best actors, and I was so glad he did this movie. I hope he returns in some form, because he's great. I, Michael Keaton's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you got Tony Stark. To be honest, I thought Robert Downey Jr. sort of phoned it in, to be honest. He, he was really good in Captain America Civil War, and then in this movie, 
I get it, he like, he's in the movie, but he probably shouldn't be distracting from who the main character is, so it was probably good that he didn't do that great of a job. It's not that he did bad, it just sort of seemed like he was doing his like standard, yep, I'm Iron Man, what's up, and it, he sort of leaves the movie and that's about it. The look of this movie matches the tone of the other movies, and you know, the effects, they look really good. Uh, I'm really annoyed that the suit is basically all CG, though there's very few shots in this movie where I'm like, okay, that's a real suit. I know in the original movies and in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, he obviously at times was all CG, but, you know, there has to be a time where it needs to be a real suit, otherwise, I don't know. I The CG's great, but I'd rather see, you know, a good use of both. I'd like to see some CG, I'd like to see some of the real suit, and I don't think there was much real suit in this movie. The lighting in this movie at times is weird, you know, especially during the climax, it starts getting a little dark, and um, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. There's not really many memorable shots, there's not, it's just sort of like, you know, it's standard. And I mean, it works, and I mean, this movie doesn't have to have anything more, it doesn't have to be something special, but the Sam Raimi films, for as cheesy as they were and for everything like that, uh, they still were shot spectacular. The music's great though, I mean, Michael Giacchino, he did the music for this movie, he's been doing a lot of Marvel Cinematic Universe movies lately. The original movies had a great theme, and I really miss superhero themes. There is the original Spider-Man theme from the 60s TV show that opens the movie, which is a lot of fun, but they don't really use it for the rest of the movie, so I was like... That sucks. Overall, I really like this movie. I think it's one of the best that Marvel Studios has done. I'm really excited to see what's next for Spider-Man. If it's my favorite Spider-Man movie, though, I don't think so. I still think Spider-Man 2 is one of the most, honestly, amazing superhero movies ever made, if not one of my just favorite movies made. Spider-Man 2 is excellent. Everything about that movie is just great. And The Amazing Spider-Man, I really like that as well, but Comparing these two movies, it's almost like, you know, I gotta watch them and then, you know, watch the next one immediately after and really compare the two because is it better than this one? I don't know. It's a close, it's close, so it's a close tie. Uh, but Spider-Man Homecoming, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, honestly, and please go see it. It's an exciting, fun, uh, probably the funniest of all the Spider-Man movies ever made, maybe the funniest Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. It's great to see a really good summer movie finally here and something that's going to be huge and everyone's going to be talking about and I love it. This is going to be a lot of fun and it's only going to get better after this. I really think the next Spider-Man movie is going to be really good. So uh, I'm happy. Spider-Man's back, man, and it's better than ever. Thank God we can finally forget about The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and how horrible that was. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can.